the ethereal vision is a vision of empowering our creatives empowering talent positive talent not having to alter who we are in order to fit this industry but really making this industry fit who we are today we are here at the blm mural on capitol hill um, we're pulling double duty today. We have Vivid Matter Collective out here repainting some of their letters as we do every year. Um, we decided to do something extra special this year and also hold a second act art activation honoring Elijah Lewis. So there are a few artists who are here um, painting murals in his honor. Um, we have a children's station um, set up by Mama Janine Lewis um, where there's art materials and paints and canvases for people to come and do their own art and you know just activate artistically and creatively um, today as we do every year but we wanted to make this one extra special um, and, and bring uh, Elijah's uh, memory into it as well. Black Lives Matter is still a movement, it's still a conversation that needs to be had. Um, and you know, so us doing this mural, you know, in 2020 was definitely very important for us. Um, and repainting it every year just really gives us an opportunity to reflect and, and, and compare and contrast what our experiences have been, you know, um, every year. You know, losing Elijah sent a ripple effect through the entire city, but definitely through our community. You know, him being somebody that I knew, you know, and worked with very closely, um, you know, Losing him in that way was incredibly tragic. I remember that day, you know, that I got that call, that I got that news. Um, you know, we all gathered together at Black Dot and just held space for one another. And I knew in that moment that I was gonna have, I was gonna do something like this um, to, to, to speak to his life and speak to his name. Um, Mama Janine and I began having conversations shortly after his memorial, um, trying to figure out different types of ways that we could, we could come together and activate artistically. And we settled on, you know, using the backdrop of the BLM mural as a space to hold space for Elijah and for his family and for his memory. So I'm here, you know, to represent for the homie uh, Elijah L. Lewis, uh, who was a young giant, a young activist that fortunately we lost this past April. Uh, we just out here doing portraits and uh, just everything that represents him and his essence and try to immortalize his image, you know. Uh, we paint portraits of our uh, historians and scholars from back in the days to immortalize his image. So this is the modern day scholar, you know, and revolutionary, you know, that we have today here in Seattle. So we here to immortalize his image, you know. This piece here is dedicated to the young man, Elijah Lewis, at the request of his family. Um, we came together to do something for him. I never got to meet the man but it sounds like he was very impactful in the community. And that's something I can get behind. Once upon a time, right, it was around Christmas time, we were doing a nice art market at uh, Langston Hughes. And uh, yeah, I was doing characters, making Christmas cards. And I decided to draw people just for fun for the holidays. And Elijah came over to my table and uh, he said, I should just give you this Tupac shirt because he was an entrepreneur. So he's like, I want to give you this. And I said, shoot, I'll draw you. So I'm going to draw you. And um, I drew him up real, real quick. And I handed it to him. And I wasn't very proud of my work, right? And, and, and he agreed. He was like, nah, they don't look like me. Today I'm here to give back that picture that I promised him. You know, and I promised him it was going to look a lot better. And uh, so yeah, this is from my heart right here. He was a light, but more like a lightning bolt. Like he's strong, like it's just unexplainable the vision that he had. It's almost like he was in the future already. I think our biggest takeaway always with repainting the mural is just remind people, you know, remind people of 2020, remind people of what we went through just, you know, three short years ago. We're still losing people, you know, we're still having to go to funerals and, and, and plan memorials and things like that for folks. Um, so the conversation is definitely still, you know, active, it's still going. Um, and so I feel like opportunities like this, you know, year after year, um, it helps people remember why, why we did what we did in 2020 and why we continue to do what we do and, and activate in the ways that we do.